Well, hello, and thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We have some amazing, fantastical news in the DC Universe. We thought the Snyder Cut was the height of all this excitement. No, Henry Cavill returning as Superman is becoming a real thing, and fans everywhere are screaming and cheering. What I'm going to be doing here for you guys is breaking down all the details involved with these reports about Henry Cavill returning as Superman, how unfortunately this does not mean Man of Steel 2 is happening, but that Henry Cavill will be showing up multiple times in upcoming DCEU movies. So I'm gonna need you guys to leave your opinions down below on how you feel about this news about Henry Cavill keeping the cape in blue tights. Are you excited for what he'll be doing? Where do you think he'll show up? Or are you just like, reboot Superman. But most importantly, hit that like button until it turns blue just like Superman's tights to show how excited you are for the man returning. All right, so all this is coming from a report late last night from Deadline in an article that they title, We Haven't Seen the Last of Henry Cavill's Man of Steel. In this report, they go ahead and detail that Henry Cavill is in early talks to reprise his role as Superman in the DC Universe. But the catch is that they make it clear in this article that it is in no way meaning a sequel to Man of Steel is happening. If anything, quite the opposite. Henry Cavill is going to be returning as Superman, but instead he will be used to make cameo or supporting role appearances in future DC movies. I know a bit of sweet and sour news because me myself, if I hear Henry Cavill is back, Yo quiero Man of Steel too. But hey, I honestly thought Henry Cavill's days as Superman were over with the way Warner Brothers was treating him and him moving on to other great projects like The Witcher and Mission Impossible. I'll take what I can get just to see this man have that cape behind his back again. So now knowing this information, I'm going to break down all the upcoming DC Universe movies that are confirmed, have directors, have release dates, not ones that are rumored or made up, where Henry Cavill's showing up up as Superman is a real possibility now thanks to these early negotiations he's having. And before jumping into the list of the movies he could be in and how he can fit into the universe, I want you guys to rank down below what you'd most like to see him in to what you'd least like to see him in. Really curious to hear where the majority of people land on where they want Henry Cavill's Superman to be popping up as a cameo or a supporting role. All right, so let's start off with the one that is most obvious and is probably the reason all of this got started. A lot of people will claim Zack Snyder's Justice League or the Snyder cut is the sole reason this is happening and while I do think that being made has a big part to deal with Henry Cavill and Warner Brothers and maybe Zack Snyder coming to good terms enough where Henry Cavill feels like you know what they're treating me nicely I want to come back what do you got for me but the real movie that got this started before Zack Snyder's Justice League was finally confirmed is Supergirl don't forget, it was a couple weeks ago that we heard these early reports that Warner Brothers was pausing their production on Supergirl so that they could focus on what to do with Superman. The Supergirl movie is something Warner Brothers definitely wants to do and they want it to be big, but at the same time, they don't just want to have this movie show up with them completely ignoring or not explaining where Henry Cavill's Superman is. Now that we know Henry Cavill is in talks and is willing to come back, him showing up in Supergirl makes the most sense out of all the upcoming DCU movies. Because one, her origin is almost directly tied into Superman. We already have the Easter egg in place and the tease that a Kryptonian once landed on Earth has an empty pod. Some theorize that that was Supergirl's pod and she was actually the ancestors for the Amazonians. That is Wonder Woman's race. Really cool stuff. But if they do make this Superman movie, Superman will show up as a mentoring role in the same way he does in a lot of these Supergirl stories where he'll show her the ropes, show her what it means to be a superhero in the eyes of a public, be that monument for freedom and everything that is righteous. But just like with what they're doing with the Supergirl TV show, I would be so worried that they would turn Superman into this damsel in distress or lower him on a level that is just insulting for Henry Cavill to come back only to be put in second place. But then I get to thinking 
thinking about what if they don't and what if they actually make Superman a big badass in this movie and Supergirl is just learning so much how to use her heat vision how to use her powers how to fly and we could have a bad guy in this movie big enough where Superman and Supergirl have to team up to fight that spills some awesome action sequences and really gets me riled up to what we could see so honestly I think this one is the most likely it's not the one I would most want Superman to show up in I just think logically this is the one that makes the most sense. Jumping into the next movie that I think has the least amount of sense but will have the most amount of people wanting it to be true is Matt Reeves' is The Batman. Now real quick right off the bat, no matter what crazy things you're hearing online guys, Robert Pattinson's The Batman is still happening. It is not canceled. Robert Pattinson was not fired. Some people really think because the Snyder Cut that is releasing on a streaming service is going to cause Warner Brothers to go, you know what, frick this movie, let's move on. It's ben Affleck, you want to come back? I know you've said multiple times in interviews that you're done and you're lost your passion for Batman, but, you know... Twitter fans, man. So with that said, The Batman with Matt Reeves, in my opinion, I always looked at it as a movie that was going to be stepping outside of the DC universe. Even though that has not been confirmed, they haven't told us if this new Batman series will be in the DCU or it'll be standalone, kind of like how 2019's Joker was. Matt Reeves has kind of hinted that it is part of the DCU, but only after we see the movie that'll be clear. And if Superman does show up in The Batman, which has only filmed about 25% of its movie. Wow, what a statement to make that we got one version of Superman meeting two different versions of Batman. What a way to confuse your audience, but heck, Batman and Superman in the same movie will always warrant me buying a ticket for that film. And it would also be the DC Universe's way of telling the audience that, hey, this movie is part of our connected universe, even though it is a different actor, even though it is a different tone, kind of in the same way you would have Robert Downey Jr. show up in the solo Spider-Man movie to let audiences know, hey, they're connected. It's not these other Sony Spider-Man films. And even though I would really want this to happen, it's least likely on the list because I think this is your first big introduction to our new Batman. And I think for the first movie, the same reason you won't have the Joker is because this movie is all about convincing audiences that Robert Pattinson's Batman is our new Batman, is a badass, is cool, will become the next generation of Batman movies to please fans, and if you bring Henry Cavill Superman, it will kind of overshadow that. The next movie we have coming out in December of 2021, and that is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Black Adam movie. I'm really curious to see how this movie turns out and what will be in it, because there's already been a lot of leaked reports about this movie that it'll actually take place thousands of years in the past for the DC Universe that we'll see the rock go from this sort of good guy to this anti-hero we'll even see the early version of the justice league which in the comics was named the justice society of America but if you really want this movie to make a lot of money in your trailers you have the rock as a superhero versus Henry Cavill Superman box office gold right there Tons of people will be in it because I think even though The Rock is a big star, I don't think the character of Black Adam is big enough for people to just drive to the theater and be like, yes, baby, let's see this movie. Most of the people are going to go are going to be The Rock fans and comic book fans. And that leaves a whole lot of other people who won't be showing up because the movie just looks a little too different. This one, I think, would warrant more of a cameo role where the movie could end with The Rock's Black Adam in present time in the same way the first Captain America ended and Superman just coming down from the ground saying what are you doing here can I help you but then if I really start to think about it the end credits for a Black Adam movie will most likely be a Shazam cameo to set up a whole Black Adam versus Shazam movie which speaking of moving on to the next possibility Shazam 2. Now Shazam 2 is happening. It is official. Heck, this movie was probably already supposed to be done shooting because it was actually getting started to film Shazam 2, but then the whole pandemic happened and then all the actors and crew members involved had to sit at home and wait for them to be able to start this project up again. Now call me crazy or think what you will, I really loved Shazam. I thought it was a great movie and they already set up that Superman is in this world. Heck, they even gave 
gave him a cameo at the end credits, even though it was not Henry Cavill, that's still a tease that Superman and Shazam have already met and are buddy-buddy. So in Shazam 2, there's a big possibility we could have Henry Cavill's Superman play a supporting role, not just a cameo, a supporting role of this time Henry Cavill teaching Shazam how to be a superhero. The whole movie about Shazam was Billy not really knowing how to use his powers, learning what it meant to be a superhero, and now that he's met the ultimate hero, Superman, I would love to see a movie dedicated to that mentoring, especially if Henry Cavill Superman doesn't even know that he's teaching a child how to risk his life. That could be a really interesting dynamic he introduced in the movie and could be a conflict of like, oh dude, I had no idea you were a 10 year old. Never mind, you can't do this. Or most likely what they would want to set up in this Chazam universe with Black Adam, where you have Black Adam, Chazam, and Superman all fighting each other. There was already an animated movie with that. Imagine that being live action with these characters. That's what I think Warner Brothers is really setting up here. That only leaves two more films that Henry Cavill Superman could show up in, and that's Ezra Miller's The Flash or Aqua. Man 2. Yes, these are two movies that are confirmed, have release dates, have directors attached, and I just don't see Superman really popping up unless it's in a very small cameo role. The real thing I just want to get out of all this is the excitement that fans will have to see Henry Cavill back on screen and hopefully will get them cheering enough to make Man of Steel 2 happen. Heck, you Snyder Cut fans who have magical powers to make a movie that didn't exist come to fruition, start the hashtag, hashtag make Man of Steel 2. Warner Brothers listened to you once, I can see them doing it again. Nonetheless, I'm sidetracking here. Henry Cavill returning as Superman, woof. I never thought I'd see the day. What upcoming DC movie do you think he could be showing up in? If Man of Steel does eventually happen, who would you want to see direct it? Anything and everything, you guys go ahead and leave your opinions down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.